What is up you guys? We are back with an update video on how to mod lockdown protocol the easy way. Uh, Vortex has finally added support for the game and I will create a link in the description below for you to check it out. On the support tab here, you'll see install Vortex. You'll click on that and it'll take you to the download page for Vortex. Vortex is basically a mod launcher. So you click on download the latest version now. And then you scroll down here to main files. This is basically the latest version of Vortex. They have all the older versions on here as well. And then click uh, manual download under the main file there. It'll ask for additional fire, uh, files to be installed. Uh, there's really only one, it's the .NET 6.0. So you click on that to download it, it'll automatically download that. Once it's downloaded, click on the button here and run this installer. Uh, yes. Once that's installed, you can just close that window down and click on the download to continue here. And you'll click on slow download to download the actual mod launcher. Keep in mind, if you don't see the download button, you do have to be signed in to actually download the mod launcher. Run Vortex and then just proceed with installing it to your C drive. And then it'll give you the option to run Vortex right here with the checkbox. You can just leave that checked and hit finish. And then Vortex will launch. As you can see, this is Vortex itself, the launcher. Uh, what you, the first thing you want to do is actually go to the game section and then search for Lockdown Protocol. You can see there it is. You can click on this Manage button here. And then it'll say game support not installed. Support for the game is provided through an extension. To use it, you have to download that extension and restart Vortex. So you can click on download here, and then it's gonna ask you to log in. If you're already logged into the website, the cool thing is that when you click log in, it'll shoot you off to the website. All you have to do is click authorize, and then hit continue. And it'll take you back to the launcher. One thing I have found is that it leaves you on that screen. You can hit cancel. And then you just go back here and hit manage again. And then it's going to say the same message as hit download. And then you'll see kind of here grayed out in this area. It's actually download the extension. And then Vortex itself will restart. Uh, and then it says lockdown hasn't been discovered, uh, automatically discovered. You have to set the game folder manually. You can click continue on that. And all you have to do is click on this lockdown protocol folder. It will take you kind of almost all the way there. All you do is click on lockdown protocol right here and then just select the folder button here. And this is gonna ask you where it's installed. You can just say Steam if it's on Steam. Uh, I don't think it's on anything else so we would just set, uh, select it. And then we can go over to the game section again. And as you can see, we have Lockdown Protocol uh, managed now. Now, what you guys are all here for, installing mods for Lockdown Protocol. Hit the three little dots here and it'll say Open Nexus Page. This will just take you to the mods page on nexus.com. Um, so you can see here's the Players++ plus plus, as I referred to before. Um, so we'll go ahead and click on this to install it. The cool thing now is that instead of manually downloading it, you will have the option now to go through Vortex. So you'd click on Vortex and hit slow download. Then you'll get a pop-up that says if you want to open the file with Vortex, you'll click, uh, click open Vortex. And then you just kind of let it do its thing. It had a download thing there, show up for a second. And, and then as you can see here, it says one active mod now. If you want to check what mod that is, you can go over to the mod section over here. And you can see here, Players++ Plus Plus has been installed. And you do have the option now to remove it or even to disable it if you want. So again, super easy to install mods now. I'll just show you one more time. We'll go back into the game section, hit the three dots, open the Nexus page, or if you already have the Nexus page like I do here, you can go back here to your mods page. And I want to install the Ghost Teleport mod, so I'll click on that. And hit the Vortex button here. And then slow downloads. 
and then vortex uh it'll ask to vo launch vortex and you'll click open vortex and then you just kind of let it do its thing it had a download thing there show up for a second and then you can see it says two active mods we go over to the mod section here you can see the two mods are installed um by the way uh, players plus plus has been updated it now supports hidden and private lobbies uh, it does have improved fixes for the ban list because it was broken and also only the host has to have this mod for everyone else to enjoy having up to 16 players. Once you're ready to go, all you have to do is click on a lockdown protocol up here in the corner, hit that and it launches the game for you. And this is kind of a little debugger. It'll tell you if there's any issues with it. You can kind of you can leave this open and just click off of it onto the game. If you guys like this video, hit me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, hit me with the thumbs down. And subscribe if you want to watch more videos. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.